We are getting closer to seeing a new Mississippi state flag, and the Flying Commission plans to narrow down submissions next week. 12 News' Kayla Thompson spoke with an art teacher about his design and what the opportunity means for him. Kayla? Hundreds of people have submitted their design, and one local professor hopes that his design will be the one that represents us all. A new era in the state of Mississippi. Mississippi will have a new flag flying high soon, and as the Flag Commission approved a plan for reviewing submissions, Jackson State Professor Jimmy Mumford hopes his will be the chosen one. I want it to be on the right side of history. I want it to help Mississippi rewrite its history. Jimmy Mumford is the interim chair and associate professor of art, design, and theater at JSU. He says the former flag did not represent all Mississippians. I don't think many people realize that the X in the flag actually means that all the states that want to be excluded from the new rights or giving slaves their rights. So for me, you know, the flag was nothing more than a chain. That no matter what, what you do, where you go, you're always tied to someone or something. Mumford says his design is one that he feels will represent the progress that we've made and where we're headed. The name Mississippi is derived from the Mississippi River. So the lines in the background depict the Mississippi River. There are four lines. Each line has five waves. So four lines, five waves is 20. The number 20 is significant because Mississippi was the 20th state. So the centerpiece is the Magnolia, which of course, as we all know, is a distinctive symbol of Mississippi. Mumford also says the blue in the flag represents perseverance and prosperity, and the red Magnolia symbolizes strength. He says having his design chosen will be powerful. Considering the fact that blacks had no rights at all, to now having someone black to design the flag is a huge accomplishment. And of course, I guess it, it would also say a lot about Mississippi in terms of how far we've come, even though we still have a long way to go. By next Friday, submissions will be narrowed down to a top 10, and by August 14th, commissioners will choose five flags for a final consideration. For more information on his design and to see what the Flag Commission is doing coming up soon, you can go to our website, wjtv.com.